hello everyone back again with my new video my name is nakash ahmed and uh, my channel north 65 academy uh, if you have not subscribed it please subscribe it and uh, do follow and watch my videos for microsoft teams that i have been making for past one week now and uh, i am getting a very tremendous uh, 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 response from you guys so please do keep this uh, re response and uh, subscribe and share my channel as well in this new video uh, this is specifically for teachers and also for students i'm going to show you how a teacher can uh, assign an assignment to a student and then a student can submit their assignment so a teacher can grade them so let's start this video i'm here in my desktop teams app as a administrator or you can say a teacher so in my team section you can see i have one team called class 1a okay so let me go inside it you can see i've already made some assignments here and uh, it has a class notebook and an assignments and grades tab so these will be by default given to you okay if you select the teams as a uh, class so let me click on assignments So here you can see as a teacher there are two assignments currently but let me create a new assignment here click create click assignment now I have to put some details of my assignment you can put some category like science let me put some instructions for the students to, uh, so that they will follow it So these are some instructions that as a teacher you can write. You can also add your resources as a teacher like any online article, any book you have. So you can add also so students can take reference. You can add points like uh, what would be the points for this assignment. Let's say 20. You can also add rubric. So I'm not telling you about rubric in this video. It's a criteria based grading. Okay, like poor, excellent, good, very good like this. So now I'm going to assign it to students. If you see here, I have all students by default. So it will assign to all the students in this class. But if I'm going to assign it to someone specific student, like I have one student here. So let me select here student A. Okay, so you can see a tick mark here. Student A has been selected. Uh, let me con oh sorry student a has been selected now i have to put some due date okay let me say 26th of june 11:59 pm okay you can also uh, see the settings for late turn ins like those who have not submitted on due date you can uh, give a date like uh, anyone who are the late turn ins so you can uh, select a date from here okay in the closed date you can mention this after this date no one would be able to submit the assignment so i'm not going to do this right now okay i have only one channel so uh, like general channel so i will be submitting on general channel okay i have selected the students already click assign so you can see as a teacher you are seeing your assignment here so if you click here you can see your assignment as a teacher you can also export it to excel for the list of students but currently only one student is available 
who has not turned in it means he has not attempted it right now okay and there is no grading yet out of 20 okay so this is a teacher's view so as a teacher view you will also get notification so you can see as a teacher you can see the assignment in the channel if you click view assignment you will be redirected to assignments tab okay now let's go to student view I have already signed in as a student student A okay in a, a teams web application so if I go to my teams I'm already in class 1a in general channel you can see make a report on COVID-19 as a student due date is 26 if I click view assignment So this is a student view you can see the instructions which are put as a teacher and the category size the 20 points add work and this turn in button so how a student can attempt it once a student has made a report following the instructions all he can have to do is click add work and if a student has uh, uh, the uh, assignment in this OneDrive, he can select from OneDrive or he can even upload it from the device like on the his own machine or he can even add a new file from here. Let me add a new file. What document? Let me name it. Let me attach it. So as a student now I have attached this file. Okay. Now, just click this turn in button. Okay, you can also undo turn in right now if you have forgotten to write something or you want to modify it. Just click undo turn in so you will be able to add it then. Okay, so you can see I have turned in on Friday 19 June 2020 at 3 3 p.m. Take mark. Okay, now let's go back to the teacher's view. Let's click here go to assignment now let's see who has <clears throat> who has submitted their work so you can see student a has turned in okay all I have to do is just select it and see what he has done it so I can see the file which I created in the word document I can uh, read it I can check his work okay and I put his the feedback here like very good report and click the points let's give him 20 out of 20 okay let's click return now I have sub, uh, checked my check the assignment as a teacher and uh, returned it back to student click close now as a teacher you can see the graded tab here so as a graded you can see student A has got very good feedback from his teacher and 20 points you can also see it from the grades tab so as a grade student A has got 20 points on this report okay now let's see what happens with on the student view so as a student view in the chat you can see assignment return make a report on COVID-19 view assignments so now the student can see that his teacher has given him feedback as a very good report and full points 20 out of 20 okay and if he wants to turn it again submit any other work or added it he can just simply add his work and click turn in again he can also see the grades from the grades tab like this okay so this is a short video of uh, submitting an assignment and grading it so I hope the teachers and students will find it very helpful 
and if there is any other question regarding this video please drop a comment so i will be able to answer you thank you for watching and please like and subscribe my channel and share with others thank you